my name is Raindrops. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning drop, hey girl. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a get ready with me. Um, I'm gonna install a wig that I've already worn. I've, I only had it on once. This is the wig that I wore in my get ready with me birthday video. Um, it was about 30 inches long. It was pretty and cute, but I don't wanna do that. It was just like so much hair, even though this wig is not a thick um, density at all. But yeah, I just wanted something different. So I just cut a long bob into her. So I'm gonna flat iron her because initially I went to curl her to wear her and I curled her at the ends. Um, but like I said, I didn't want that, all that hair. So that's what we're gonna be doing with that. And as far as the makeup today, I have a couple of new items. Um, for foundation, I'm gonna be trying the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear. It says up to 30 hours. Um, I don't know who's wearing makeup, who's up for 30 hours, but okay, sis, go off. Um, but I'm gonna test this for as long as I, you know, wear the makeup when I go out here today. But um, yeah, this is in the shade 355 Coconut. And the reason that I got it is because when I used to use the Fit Me Matte, um, I used to use 350, not 355 and 360, but they weren't really the exact shade match. And when they came out with more, it was 356. So they were kind of similar in color. And I didn't see a 356 um, in Walmart is where I got it from. I think this was like, um, I want to say it was $10. It was like nine and some change. And I got this. The powder that I'm going to try because I didn't see any of the Superstay powder. And I want to say I have one. I do. I have the Superstay uh, full coverage 16 hour. And the shade is Truffle. They kind of look a bit similar, but for some reason, if you guys can see, this just gives me olive tone vibes. And I think that's why I really don't use it. But um, because I want to try something different as well, I hope that this matches. This is the Black Opal True Color. This is in the shade Caramel Crush. So we're going to try this as well. I have a new face um setting spray normally i don't use them it's just every six months or so i decide to pick up one just to try it today i picked up the hard candy um sheer envy matte setting spray um it claims 12 hour wear plus oil control minimizes pores mattifying setting spray looks like this also i picked up the LA Colors Powder Blush Velvety Finish, and this is the shade Berry Plum. I want to say I had this a long time ago, but I can't remember because it's been that long, but we're going to use this today as well. And then the lipstick that I got, um, I've never used the NYX lipstick before, but I picked up one and their Butter Gloss, and this shade is... It looks like it says, oh my God, it's so small, y'all. Y'all be thinking I'm bullshitting, but this writing is small. Let's see if I can, because I can't even get it to focus good. But um, I'm gonna take a picture and blow it up and see what it says. And then I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see, but we're gonna be trying this as well. So if you wanna see how this look comes out, definitely stay tuned. If you're new here, please join the fam, become a drop, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a video, like this video. Sometimes we leave a comment and we forget to hit the like. So please hit the like button first. Drop me your comments so we can get to know each other. Share this video so we can get more drops and flood these YouTube streets. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace. Really quick, guys. I wanted to show you what my hair was looking like. 
Um, I just did my hair yesterday, but it feels real sticky. I use the Hawaiian Silky Activator Gel and then the wet line over top. But I think I use too much of the Hawaiian Silky because my hair is soft as hell and it's very sticky. But I'm going to go wash my hair out and, you know, braid it up. And then you guys will see the rest. Um, I'm not going to talk through much of this video, but I am going to come back um, and I guess back and forth to let you guys know what I think of the product.
sorry if you can hear the boys in the background. Um, okay, this is the final result. Um, so far, what I do notice, um, I did start to peek through with a little bit of oils. And that's just because I don't think that I use enough powder. Um, I don't like a lot of makeup on my face. I don't like it to look caked up. And that is the reason as well that I went and got some setting spray. So, so far so good. It is 2.49 p.m. So, I'm going to see how long this lasts um, without me blotting. See how mattifying this really is. Again, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear 30 Hour. Again, this was the color 355 Coconut. I'm also testing out this mattifying spray by Hard Candy. How I feel about the um, the black opal powder. I love the shade match. This was really a good shade match uh, to pair along with that Maybelline Super Stay. And hopefully um, I get matte, you know, as I want it stay throughout the day um also it was raining uh, for the last hour so um i don't know how that's gonna play a part in it but so far so good um i really love this this is gonna be like a staple a new favorite i really really love this it smells good i like the way it went on um, it gave me uh, the gloss but what I did do was go in with my Nika K lip gloss just to add a little bit more shine. Again, sorry if you can hear the boys. Um, what else was it? Oh, I also like that blush uh, by LA Colors. That is a pretty blush. And I really like how the bob of this wig turned out. So as you guys saw in the initial part of the video, I was going for a center part. But I wasn't feeling that. So um, this is a rotating, uh, shifting wig. So I just shifted it to the side to give myself a side part. I still have my little baby hairs there. And yeah, uh, I really like this. I like how it turned out. It's not like a lot of hair all around my face. This is a good length. I did go in and I cut it a little bit more. Because also when you guys saw, it was here. And I just wasn't feeling that. So off camera, I just went in and cut it a little bit more. And this is what we got. So I'm really pleased with this look. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, definitely like this video. Leave me a comment like I stated in the beginning of the video. Share it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace. I will be, I always forget, I will be coming back in to show you guys how long this lasts with this wear test. So, see you in a little bit. So, it is 7.20 p.m. It's about four and a half hours since I've applied the makeup. And what I can tell you so far, the claim of 30 hours. Now, I don't know if they mean 30 hours just in the wear or 30 hours of it being matte plus the wear but either way the 30 hours of the mattifying it is not as you can see the oils have already started to peek through um in my truck right now but it's this is good light you can see and you can see the oils all through here and here now i bought the makeup with me so i can apply a little bit now i've had to do this but I didn't dip into the makeup itself. I just used what was on the brush and I have blotted several times. So uh, I don't know what active wear, you know, or it's, it's just not. And I haven't done anything. Um, I just basically took a ride from my house to the city, dropped off my two boys, um, my husband ran in and got us some Chinese food. I sat in the car. Um, it's very nice outside. It's like in the 60s. So it's not like it's hot and humidity is out. Um, none of that. But this is what I'm getting. So I'm going to apply some more powder a little bit. And then 
I'll come back to you guys at the end of the night when I get home. It is 12.20 a.m. So I've had this on since 2.40 p.m. And this is what I got. So skin is very oily. Pretty sure if I see about taking any tissue and dabbing. Because I haven't did this in since um, I talked to you guys, I think was around six or seven. Um, so, I mean, if you had to continue to do this, then I guess you would be okay. But because it said active wear and long wear, I expected that my skin wouldn't get as oily, and it did. Um, so between the mattifying uh, spray primer from Hard Candy, the Super Stay and the Black Opal press powder. Um, I thought I was going to get some type of aid in there with helping mattify my oily T zone, but obviously that did not happen. Um, the pros is with each the Super Stay and the Black Opal, I did like the color match, they were perfect shade matches. Um, it's like everything is in place the only thing is like I said that I did not stay back and um, I don't know how to combat that um, I tried the tricks with the powder on up under the foundation moisturizing my skin first I don't know but overall I will use it again I'm thinking about mixing it with my Rimmel stay matte and see what happens or use the actual super state press powder that I have and see if that helps me and that they're both products from the same line so again this is it so you guys can really see so thank you again for tuning in to another video and I will see you guys in my next one